when you have a symmetrical antenna with the impedance of 50 ohm you could attach the coarse cable directly to it but it is better to have a coil in series it forms an RF shock I will explain it in this video demonstrate the use of a, a shock uh, with this simulation this is a simple dipole antenna and normally you have the coax cable connected uh, via a balloon or a shock uh, but if you connect it directly I assume that you have the uh, outside the, the shielding of the coax cable as a wire so this is what I uh, simulated shock added at the point at the antenna this is the result like you would expect without a cable connected and uh, when we view it it looks like this uh, this is the current of the dipole and the shock prevents that the coarse cable the shielding of the coarse cable is seen so almost no current flowing through the outside of the coax cable now I will remove the shock and see what happens and remember this far field plot this is the same uh, plot uh, without the shock so you see directly what the influence is of the coarse cable connected directly without the shock if you look at the view you see that the shock is removed and that you have also a lot of current here on the coarse cable and because you never know what the exact length is or the exact root of the coarse cable uh, you don't know if this impedance will be high or low uh, or what happens here to show how you can simulate it in uh, MANA normally you have here your source uh, in this case wire 1 uh, with 1 volt and here you have can uh, fill in the load so this in this case wire 4B uh, then this uh, appears and here you add the value uh, of the L in this case so the coil in uh, micro henry and uh, here I added the Q factor of it and this is the way you can simulate and then you click on a use load or you don't use the load and that makes the difference in this case that it is not really always so bad uh, is demonstrated by this antenna I made a dipole horizontal and the coarse cable is going uh, with a sh uh, small angle to this axis and then downwards like this and uh, when I simulate it with or without the shock is uh, shown in the next result and this is when you compare with and without the shock you see what you normally would expect uh, the red one is without a shock and with the shock you see it is less radiating but it is also a bit you know, tilted or so uh, at least it is not exactly the same if you look at the enormous currents that are here compared with the dipole the driven element I would have expected more uh, in the pattern than, than I see. Uh, when you have the cable directly straight with 90 degrees angle uh, to the dipole it is uh, even uh, rather acceptable. And this is the coil that I have as an RF shock for my 50 MHz inverted V antenna. But uh, what coil is needed to prevent that the coax cable is part of the antenna system? So transmitting and receiving all kinds of uh, noise. We can calculate it uh, with this uh, online calculator. Uh, you can also calculate it by this formula. 
it is not so difficult, but this is more handy. So if we uh, give, for example, the 10 micro Henry that we had used in MANA, and we enter here the frequency 50 megahertz, and then it shows it has already a resistance of 3k. That's a lot. Uh, it can be uh, uh, much less. Uh, be about two, three hundred uh, ohms would be uh, sufficient. Sufficient. So when we calculate this, we can come to that value. So in fact, one micro Henry would be enough for 50 megahertz. And for other frequencies, you can uh, calculate the same. And again, with some website, we can calculate. I've uh, also done a suggestion before with the mini core calculator. Uh, you can also use that. But this is another uh, tool. We fill in the coil radius. So it's the radius, not the diameter. So take care of that. For 50 megahertz, I uh, used about uh, 1.9 centimeter or so, 1.9 centimeter. Uh, the length of the coil uh, was about 4 cm and I have enough coax for 10 uh, turns and uh, we put here 1 and then we say calculate and we get the output in Henry but we want to have it in micro Henry so it's 3.5 micro Henry that's uh, more than enough um, if you go back to the other calculator, you see that you have uh, with three and a half here, you have with uh, three and a half, three, 1.1 1 .1 k. So yeah, that's, that's more than enough. But you can uh, reduce the, the length of the coil. Uh, if you want to have uh, less turns, uh, very easy to calculate. Say we make 8 and we come to here to this value. So you can even have less turns for the frequency of 50 megahertz. Uh, for other frequencies you have of course uh, other uh, needs. You can play with that and you can see that it's simple uh, to make. Enjoy and uh, see you.